Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What I want to review today for you guys is one of my favorite razor that I have and one of the most expensive razor that I have Feather AS V2. So let's get into it. So, unboxing of the Feather ASD2. Nice presentation box. Comes this in this. Um, it wants to be like mahogany box, but it's cardboard. On the front, we have Feather or stainless razor. On the back, nothing. Size, nothing. Just on the front. All right, let's open it up. The first thing is this um, paperwork where you have your uh, registration number. This is unique to your razor. And specifications about the razor. And also in Japanese. If you read Japanese, please let me know what that means down below. So that's that. It comes with a pack of feather blades, five pieces, high stainless, the sharpest blades on the market, in my opinion. We're gonna use one in our shave today you can buy the razor just the razor or you can buy it with a stand i bought it with a stand it's also all stainless beautiful heavy stand heavy on the bottom it has this rubberized thing so it doesn't um, see it doesn't slide around Feather branding on the front and now the piece de resistance, the razor itself, look at that, super nice razor, all stainless, the knurling is beautiful, diamond knurling. The grip is excellent. It's a three piece razor. The handle comes off. The top cap and the safety bar. Feather branding on the top cap. In my opinion, this is okay. I like it, but in my opinion, I think it will it it would be more clean not to have the branding over here. Just you know, put it on the back somewhere like it. It has over here feather Japan. I think that would be enough. But it is what it is. It's a nice razor, super quality. And that was the unboxing. And now. Let me give you some specifications about the razor. Yes guys, like I said before, welcome back to another review, shave, unboxing. Thank you very much for uh, all the support that you, that you showed. To my channel thank you very much for uh, all the new subscribers and welcome so yeah i'm really looking forward let's get into it first first things first
Right. Um, I'm gonna use a pre-shave today also for Russell. Fairly sensibly. Because uh, my beer growth is like five days ish, five days, I think. And this razor, it's a beautiful, excellent razor, super well made. It's, a, it's the, the craftsmanship on, on this, it's high, high, super high. <laughs> but it's not really an aggressive razor. So, because I have like a beer growth, I think um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do like three shaves and mostly pick up after that. But I'm, I, I want to use a pre-shave so I don't get any irritation. Let me get my face all prepped, warmed up, heated up. Let's go. Hot. Ah, so feels so good. Let's take a little bit of, a little bit, just a little bit, <laughs> a little bit of uh, pre-shave. You massage it really good in your beer to soften those whiskers. So how are you guys doing? I hope everything is okay. Uh, this year 2021 will be hopefully a better year from all points of view and hopefully we'll, we'll get rid of this crazy pandemic that is going on that was going on in 2020 right and yeah i want to face leather today because uh, and I'm, I'm using the omega board brush the pro Russell brush because uh, I want to soften the beer even more if I do the massage. I'm just going to soak it in my soaker and leave it over there. And now I'm taking the brush out. And just squeeze it. Just a little bit, because I still want to have some moisture in the brush. The cream, the Taylor's Tops, Taylor's of All Bond Street, Platinum Collection Shaving Cream. It has a nice scent to it. It's really um, not too strong scent. It's an elegant scent. Scent. Lemon zest scent, like lemony but in a not so strong way so it's really a pleasant pleasant scent All right so i'm just taking like so and just apply it in the brush like so okay so let's get leathering I think I left too much water, but it's okay. That's why I like this board brush, because when I have like a like a beer growth, a heavy beer growth, it's it's easy because it's uh, stiffer than the other brushes brushes, and you can get a better massage of your uh, of your beer, which is nice. And you can direct the leather more easier. Look at that. And the leather that it produces, it's super soft. And now it needs a little bit more water. Because it's kind of dry. Yeah, much better. Look at that. Nice. I was so excited and looking forward to the shave that I forgot to load up the blade. So, let's load up. The blade, shall we? And now let's unwrap the, the blade from his paper. That was quick. 
And now let's take the razor and disassemble it. Like I said, three piece razor, handle, safety bar, top cap. Let's drop it on the top cap. The safety bar, make sure to align these uh, two grooves with the top cap, like that. And now put back the handle. This razor doesn't have overhang at all, zero. Let's check the alignment. Looks perfect. All right, blade loaded. Let's heat up the blade. Feather blade, feather, ASD2 razor, all stainless. Let's see. Six days of beer growth. That's a mild, that's the mildest. That's one of the mildest razor that I used so far. So definitely I'm gonna need like three passes, maybe three passes plus pickups. You can see. Ooh. Yeah, definitely. Razor is full. Rinse it up. And one nice thing about this razor, it has those, um, yeah, there you go, those channels for leather. So you can for rinsing. So it's really easy to rinse it, to rinse the, the razor. Now, many people are saying that um, to find the proper angle is not like the usual um, angle, like for any double edge razor, it's a little bit steeper, but for me, it's the same angle that I use with any razor, like 30 degree angle, 35, I think. All right, left side. Yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> maybe I, I think I'm gonna need like four regular passes to get this beer off. Oh man, so I would say this razor, it's more um, perfect if you are shaving like every day, but if you have like a heavier beard growth, it's a little bit of a struggle. So yeah, because I wanted to test it to see if, um, how it performs if you have like a, like a heavier beard growth. So yeah, it struggles a bit and I have the feather blade inside.
but to shave under the nose is really good because the head profile it's super slim. So that was the that was the first pass. As you can see, a lot of beer left. Let me rinse up and we'll go for pass number two. The slickness of this soap is unbelievable. It's super slick. I can shave without any cream right now. But. Look at the leather, super quality cream. All right, pass number two, across the grain. I'm gonna start with my neck. You can hear the razor working and that's a good thing the audio feedback so you know that is doing a great job and a lot of whiskers are flying away Yeah, it's definitely for a everyday shave. It's really nice to hold in the hand, especially with this diamond knurling. It's perfect. Even if you have wet hands, it doesn't slip. You don't feel the blade at all with this razor. Super smooth, super smooth shave. It's really hard to cut yourself with this one. All right, the mustache area. Nice. Rinse and we'll go for pass number three. Uh, so, so far, it did an okay job. I still have all my cheeks. Oh, come on. On my neck. But that, for that, is pass number three. So, let's go. Pass number three against the grain. I'm gonna start with my neck, let me clean up. Yep, nice, nice, nice. Smooth, smooth, smooth. And this is made with Japanese precision in mind super nice quality it's unbelievable
just a little bit more cream. across the grain on the chin not across the grain, against the grain, sorry guys I'm, I'm just a little bit tired today, a little bit under the weather by the way the weather is crap over here it snowed a lot the last week and now it's just raining Right, that was pass number three. Let's rinse and see if we missed something. Yep, the usual spot. Clean up time. And a little bit of cheeks. Yeah, much better. All the time over here on my neck I have some problem areas where only if I use like a super aggressive razor I can get everything from here. That was the cleanup phase. Let me rinse. Warm water, cold water. All right, and now I'm gonna use my iron block. I soak it under the cold water for a second or two, and glide it all over your face with a shave. That's a nice feedback. It tells you where you went over too many times with the razor but for me it's smooth, no stinging, no nothing even on my neck super smooth leave it on for like uh, 30 seconds and then rinse it off that feels so good alright let's dry the face nothing is better than a good old shave super relaxing right the aftershave is from uh, executive shaving company nevis a fresh green scent with hints of musk and sandalwood let's see one of my favorites aftershave Yes, it's a fresh scent. Yeah, you can smell the sandalwood a little bit, musk. Perfect. And now for the moisturizer, this is the one, Bulldog. It's a very good one. And of course, all the products that I use today, I'm gonna link it down below. So check my description, check my cards down below. Yeah, Bulldog, it's a really good moisturizer. 
and the scent is not strong. It's aloe, aloe, gruner tea, um, a green tea. It goes really good in the skin, not oily. It's perfect. Perfect to end. It's a perfect product to end a perfect shave. I said I checked how much I paid for the razor. I paid for it 210 euros. I ordered it from the executive shaving company. But yeah, it's a little bit on the higher end side, but for the quality that is of that it offers, all stainless, super super well made. It is worth, in my opinion, it is worth the money. It is perfect for veterans in the wet shaving game or uh, if you're just starting out right now with wet shaving it's perfect for it because it's a mild razor, it's not aggressive at all. But one thing, one thing that I want to point out and uh, this video was for, if it's efficient, really efficient, if you have like a heavier beard growth. So in that case, it, it struggles a little bit, but if you are shaving like every other day or daily, it is perfect. And uh, in combination with the feather blades, it's, uh, it's really good. That was it guys. Let me put my glasses back so I can see you better. Um, thank you very much for joining me in today's shave and today's review. Um, please stay safe, enjoy your shaves and let me down below um, what you think about this channel, uh, if you like the content, what, what would you like to see uh, more, more, sh more reviews, which razors, which blades. Yeah, give me idea guys, give me ideas because I'm all up to it. Yes guys, thank you very much, please uh, subscribe. Please like this video because it helped my channel a lot. Yeah, stay safe, take care, enjoy your shape. Cheers.